Monday, which means it's time for another video. As you can see from this title, this is actually not going to be a review again. Um, I will talk more about that when I am done talking about this. Um, I figured I'd give my little input on this, even though I don't have any of the other ones. Um, today, Screen Factory released um, a 4K like box set type thing of uh, Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, and Halloween Resurrection. And I just wanted to get my thoughts on it because they're eh. Um, so one of the main things I feel like is missing, since they did the first five already, they should do all the other ones besides the new um, Blumhouse trilogy, obviously. Um, they definitely missed out on doing the Rob Zombie ones. I know not everyone that is watching this probably likes the Rob Zombie movies, um, but I personally like the Rob Zombie Halloweens. I feel like they should have put them with this because I really, like I said, I really like them. Um, and also, another thing that bothers me, and when the first five came out, a lot of people were complaining about the artwork. Rightfully so, because it's literally the same recycled artwork. I think the only one to me that looks good is the Howling 31. And I, I and before I go on, I don't have any of these because I, I don't have a 4K player, even though you can watch a Blu-ray of it as well. Because I think it's Blu-ray, 4K um, combo pack, kind of like a DVD, Blu-ray combo pack. Um, but yeah, the artwork is just not that great. Um, I'm not hating on Screen Factory, but with their old, like, with their collector's editions, I think to, like, probably, I think the last good one, I, I'm probably totally wrong, but Alone in the Dark, um, I think that's one of the last ones I really, uh, the last ones I really got, I just think they should go back to stuff like that, it would be a lot better. Um, I don't understand why they're releasing it as a box set. I guess you can't get them individually. Um, maybe they will change that. I don't know. Um, it, for people who are only fans of, like, certain movies, it probably kind of sucks. Because you're going to be spending, I think it was like $119 or something like this insane but <laughs> because you can get yeah it's not 4k but you can get the friday 13th box set for almost that price maybe a little bit more obviously but i wonder with these releases if the um price of the uh 15 disc halloween box set is gonna go down it might because of this um so if you guys are looking to get that and you don't have it um your luck might come through because with this shit coming out um yeah it's gonna probably go down in price i am not positive on that though but um what was i gonna say oh um i kind of am hoping i don't know if they will but i'm kind of hoping screen factory does um still make blu-rays like the collector's editions because i really like the collector's editions and it's nice for people who don't have a 4k player i just don't really um want to spend the money on one at the moment uh yeah i really hope that they um do more collector's editions because i like that artwork and i like the stuff i like the stuff they release they really stop that ha stuff that I've been looking for for a long time, like Alone in the Dark, that was like very out of print um, and super expensive. Um, another one for the longest time was My Bloody Valentine, the original. That was one that um, I wanted to get on Blu-ray and it was way too expensive. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. I just wanted to give my thoughts on the new um, box set from the How We Made box set, mini box set, I should say, because it's, it's kind of like the, it's alive. Um, box set because it's not really a box set, it's just three movies. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, I am going to do a poll. But the thing is, I want you guys to 
comment um, on this video. Let me know what you want to see on that poll. Um, if I don't include it on the poll, it's probably because I either reviewed it or, um, I don't know, probably because I already reviewed it because I reviewed a lot of stuff. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want me to put on that poll. Instead of Saturday night, I will keep it open till Sunday night. Um, that way, um, I'll probably watch it. The review will probably be late Monday. Um, um, that's what I'm shooting for. If it, if anything, earliest will be Saturday night. But just want you guys to comment and let me know what you want me to uh, put on the poll. But let me also let me know what your thoughts are on this box set. If you like it, hate it. Um, personally, I'm not gonna get it because I don't have the first five. But um, I know other people who are not that impressed. Um, you know who you are. But yeah, that's really all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys on Thursday.